Hey everyone, the day has finally come. Um, it's been almost exactly one year since my last binder update video. Uh, so I have roughly 1,200, that's right, 1,200-ish photo cards to put away today. Um, I am several comebacks deep for most of the uh, groups that we're going to see here. Um, it's going to be TXT and Hypen, La Seraphim, Inmix, Stray Kids, whole gamut. Um, this is only up to my June and July haul, so um, anything after that is going to go into my next organizing video, which I promise will be sooner than a year from now. So let's go ahead and dive into it because this is probably going to be a long video. Get a snack, get a drink, get comfortable, and let's finally update my binders. So we're going to start off in the binder that is going to see the most change. Um, I decided to very significantly downsize my TXT collection. Um, basically all of my extra cards are up for sale or will be if they aren't already. Um, so go check out my trade and sale account if you're interested. Um, but I've decided to only keep select OT5 sets and mainly just tan. So um, that's what it's going to be moving forward. Um, let me see if I can prop this up a little better. That works a little bit better. Um, so I'll just show you really quickly what I ended up doing. <laughs> You're going to see a cattail to the side. Um, so early eras, just tan, kept OT5 for blue hour. Let's do this. There we go. Let's zoom out a little. Okay, there we go. Um, then we have freeze decided to um, restructure my sets like this to kind of save pages um, but also I just I saw someone do this for their inmix collection I think maybe their account is thinnery knack I think so I'll tag them down below um, and it just completely changed my mind on how like much I enjoyed the setup so um, these are some pobs and stuff that I'm probably going to sell. Um, then we get into Fighter Escape. We've got this, these sets. And then this full page with some choice pobs. Thursday's Child. These are the Japan sets. So this is the hollow set that's not showing up at all on camera. Um, this is some like Neighbor Live. I can't decide if I'm going to keep or try to sell these. And then these are pobs that I will probably be downsizing as well. Um, then we have Temptation. I don't know if you can hear the ice cream truck that just passed by. Um, and then more Temptation. Um, these I have spots for some pobs that I'll put away in a minute. Um, and some more pobs that I just kind of kept. So yeah, we're, we're two comebacks behind on TXT, and then I decided to put all of the stuff that I had in my um, six, like my extra wide binder, I just put in here, because I just wanted to have a singular TXT binder. So yeah, we've got quite a lot to do for TXT, got quite a lot to do for everything. <laughs> um, so we're just going to get started. So first I'm actually going to just put away, oops these extra temptation pobs here just so they have a place um and then I have some more but I don't really know what to do with these four so I'm just gonna put them behind this page for now um and then I'll decide if I'm oh that was a blank spot okay he can go here no I'll just decide if I'm going to actually keep them or not. Um, so, there we go. Um, then, these are the only Japan cards I'm keeping mainly because I never got to put them away. <laughs> so, let me just put these. It is a bit awkward to do it this way because you see them from the back, but in a moment you will see the vision. I've also decided that I'm really not going to collect Japan for TXT moving forward. I don't know. Um, so here's what that page looks like. And then 
I did it kind of thematically with my colorscape, I guess. So we'll see. I'm also just a little, I don't know, I guess in my feelings about TXT, I have not loved their last couple comebacks, um, which as someone who still very much alts TXT has just been kind of like underwhelming. Um, but I'm still excited. Yunjin just announced his solo projects. So I'll definitely be checking that out. This page looks really cute. Okay, so now we're going to get into Chaos Chapter Freefall. So I did one OT5 set per concept. So we'll do that first. Um, and it's again going to be a fold out page. So I'm intrigued to hear what his solo sounds like. Um, I'm also excited that we're now getting into this era, I guess, of like TXT potentially doing solo projects. Um, I wonder if the others will follow after this. I guess it'll kind of depend on how his is received. Um, but I do think that like all of the members of TXT are so talented individually that I would be really thrilled to see whatever they did as solo projects. Um, so, let's see. Although Kai's been doing his like Kai Starts a Band series, which has been so cool. Um, getting to see him showcase all of his talents and everything. So I really love that. Okay, I did find these pobs for Freefall that I'm going to just put here. Okay. Then... I don't really know what I was doing here because I have this OT5 set and then all of these hand he sees. Hmm. Well, we'll just do this for now. And let's see. Three, oh wait, these go together and these go together. So we'll put this <laughs> and then we'll just randomly put these on the back. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Now we're going to move into Minisode 3. I still only have these cards. I have made very little progress on Tan's cards for this set. I could not tell you why. I did get, oop, wrong page. Subin and Tan for Target, so I'm just going to put them here so it makes a cute little heart. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's kind of where we are. <laughs> Um, and for now, I guess that's just where we'll stay, to be honest. So these are Tan's broadcast PCs. So we'll put them here. This is from a like end of year show, Gaio. Um, these are actually, I have this one coming. Hmm. This is actually Japan membership, so should go on this page, but there's not a free spot. Oh well, goes here for now. <laughs> and then I'm going to get into memories. So I finally have this last Subin card. Um, these are just gonna be random tan PCs. So these are his memories of, mm, I don't know, the most recent memories, I think. Um, then here, okay, so we're going to put 2023 membership here. So we've got Sudan, John, Tan, and Kai. Okay, and then membership 24 will go here. These are from the photo books. Have the last few that we're missing here. So we've got Bumgu for this version, and 
Subin for this version. These are now done. This is for Seasons of Greetings DVDs here. So we've got this set we're being put away. Subin. Thank you. I also did not see TXT on this most recent tour, which was a difficult call to make, but honestly, I just felt like it was the best for me uh, financially, but also that it was just kind of hard to justify, if I'm being honest. Um, these are just from the last season's green. I'm just going to put them in here to fill up the space. Um, it just felt like TXT has, it just feels like TXT has toured every year, but the like set lists aren't that different because they haven't put out that much music in between tours. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, these are deco kits. So we got this set. I also think I'm just d very intentionally downsizing some of what I collect. Um, I don't need to have every single thing. I think it's for the best that I don't. Um, so we'll see. But of course still love TXT so much, but I just can't be buying everything, you know? Now where do you go? What are these? Season's greetings. Uh-oh. I may have put something... Yep, I put something in the wrong place. Whoops. Okay, so I'm just going to do this little double-sided configuration. To make my life a little easier. And then, um, oh, perfect. This is just a random page. <laughs> so, done. That is it for uh, the TXT binder at this point. So, yay. Okay, now we are moving to a new binder. This is going to be my Enhypen Jungwon binder. Um, so for the early eras, I've decided I'm just filling up one page and that will be good enough for me um so let's see whoops oh no oh well so i just need one dawn version and we are again going to double up the pages here sight on space it is so wild still to think that i came back here <laughs> that i'm collecting jungwon for a second time but, oh well, what can I say? There's nothing like the trauma bond you form with your favorite contestants from a survival show. <sighs> so, I think I'm just always going to have love in my heart for and hyphen because of watching Island. And uh, that was a shit show in many forms. But I also, like... I, like everyone else, just cannot believe that these boys finished a 400 day long tour and are about to start on a new one. Um, <laughs> especially when they have members that have been sick, had surgery. Oh, I thought I was going to keep these four cards, but I have decided that I will not. So those will be up for trade or sale. Um, yeah, especially when you've got members who are actively injured we're always sick it's just like what are you doing hide what the actual hell are you doing so we'll see there we go i did i know that i've mentioned this in previous videos but um i saw in hypen in october of last year oh my god this is not gonna fit whoops um on their fate tour in houston and it was so great. I really enjoyed seeing them and I'm glad that I got to see them, all things considered, um, especially because that was before people started getting sick, started having very serious injuries that should be taken seriously. But so if they come to tour again, I 
don't really know. Like, I, I know that everyone's calling for a boycott, and I fully respect and hear that. So, we shall see. But, I also, somewhat excitingly, uh, have some big plans for the end of the year because I'm going to Korea and Japan with with my friends Courtney and Evelyn uh, in November so I'm so excited we are thick in the midst of planning that trip and I just can't wait I had such an amazing time going to Korea last year so I really can't believe that I'm already getting to go back so soon um, and I've never been to Japan before so I'm just beyond excited some more this is the beginning of orange blood uh, gonna be honest did not love this comeback and it was a bit awkward because dark blood is when I got back into an hypen and then orange blood came out and I was like oh was this mayhaps a fluke I don't know but uh, yeah it just wasn't my favorite all the b-sides and stuff um, but it happens so we've got these this binder is about to be full up um, okay. we've got a little song page because I just couldn't help myself and then and I have this little 027 said mine is Jung Won because his is on his page. Very sorry about that. No disrespect intended. Also, can I just say it annoys the ever loving shit out of me because I only ever see this happen within Hypen Collectors where when there's a, a group listing, right, it's leader than everyone else unless certain specific groups do it in age order and you kind of know who those groups are. Um, only with end genes do I see them doing age order. So the leader is second from the end. And I don't know why, but that just bothers me a lot. Um, so anyway, Jung was a leader, never forget. And that is his binder, cutie pie. Okay, next we're moving on to a collection that I'm thrilled about, and that is the Star Film. So this first page is going to be um, for her Yunjin's uh, sparkly, Japan cards. This one's not sparkly, but it is a Japan card, so oh well. Um, so it's here. So these pages are going to be a mix of my pulls and then the cards that I intentionally collected. Um, not all of my pulls because I still kind of have those for trade and sale, so I'm just getting these in the binder, to be completely honest. I don't love these pages, um, so I think I'm going to try to order some like five card pages from Meow Cafe or something so we'll see but I do be loving the La Seraphim girlies um, their last couple comebacks have been amazing I became a fan of theirs during was it Unforgiven? I think it was Unforgiven Era that's my first album of theirs that I actually purchased at like Target on release day um, loved easy and I'm absolutely loving crazy uh, that is not going to be in this video because that's my August haul but yeah I just absolutely love their music um, they are truly for the girlies and I love that about them do not love these pages it's just hard to get them in the top row for whatever reason um, but love that figure something out for this. Okay, look at this cutie. Also, please respect my child, my young daughter. Thank you. Okay, now all of these, except for the very end, are easy era. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of decided to do OT5 for easy. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really have any intention of like continuing this trend with crazy because even though the photo cards are beautiful uh, I just know that they're gonna be a nightmare to get so not a top priority at all okay, just missing Inche for this one Oops. 
only so far have Yunjin and Kazaha for this one. And then the iconic compact version. I loved this set of photo cards so much. This is really what kind of sealed the deal for me. Because they're just cutie girls getting their makeup done. And then this is just going to be kind of an extra page with her reverse versions. And we've got this is the Make Star set that I pre ordered because Make Star always has the best pops because they are 99.9% .9 of the time hollow. So there we go. So this was the complete Make Star set the group card. Then I got this set from Weavers with the red balloons because I thought it was so cute. Ah. And it perfectly matches with the membership set that you'll see in a minute. And I do love a matching set, what can I say? I'm gonna come back to the beginning of Easy. Let's see if we've got a group card. Yep. This might work out perfectly. And then this one. Oh, what should we do? I kind of like the crowns here. And then we'll do soft squirrels here. And then I guess you don't get a group page. That's fine. So then we'll do this page of miscellaneous palms here too cute I do love a good egg card what can I say and this two on and then finally we've got the membership set so official fear not Hopefully, we'll be able to utilize that membership to see them on tour. Cough, cough. Um, but hopefully next year, because the rest of this year is really crazy for me in terms of travel and everything. So hopefully, La Seraphim 2025. And that concludes our beautiful new La Seraphim binder. Yay! Okay, now we are going to get started in the big girl <laughs> in the in mix lily binder so this is going to be a lot there's a very good chance that i'm going to run out of pages so whoopsie so first we're going to start with the fe 304 break album cards so this is her nemo set I loved this album so freaking much. This has definitely become my favorite InMix album. It's very likely going to be my album of the year. Um, as much as I have really enjoyed Stick Out, FE 304 Break is just like it for me. Um, so definitely going to be album of the year for me. Um, I just cannot stop listening to it. It was so freaking good. So here is the Nemo set. Oops. Kind of can't see. There we go. So just like with TXT, I'm going to do layout pages for InMix. So let's see. Hopefully we'll be able to see. Um, also, InMix is one of those groups that I talked about earlier where they do, generally speaking, put the eldest first. Like in photo card previews and stuff like that, Lily is first. So I'm kind of taking that as the official party line. Here we are going to have, I can't remember which version this was, and I maybe didn't mean to have them in this order, but oh well. No, I think I definitely meant to have the poster version in the middle, but oh well, I will fix that later because it's too late now. I'm already in it. So, got this Machme line on this page, although really Bay and Machme line. 
Um, their styling, by the way, for the current era, killing it. Era, not era. But I feel like Nmix's styling is always really on point for the most part. Here we go. Gorgeous. And we're gonna do the same thing here. So here we have, I believe the make like never break up with me. Since that is such a lily thing to put on a card. Um, we're gonna do mixed blood and target on this one. Although I have decided for the current era not to do OT6 for target. Um, I don't know. We shall see. But I was very lucky and pulled Lily, so I kind of was like, well, <laughs> that's done. One and done. Um, so here we go. But also the Target set for this album was just perfect. I loved how cohesive it was. The target set for stick out is just like in one of their concept fits. So I don't know, it didn't quite draw me in as much, um, which I'm sure my wallet was thrilled about. So I'm just going to double up these pages, but we've got the limited versions. Other limited version and I cannot remember what I was going to put in the third slot now I think hmm I think maybe it was a make star set oh well we'll figure it out <laughs> I tried so hard to prepare for this as best as I could but the, the amount of photo cards that I need to put away is nuts but also I need to say quite truly that I have to see in mix on tour um, very very hopeful that that will happen next year because it really does not seem like it's going to happen this year um, moving on to broadcast cards but yes i am just really crossing my fingers um a little part of me wishes that maybe we would get opening acts for k-pop tours because it's like stray kids is obviously going to do a huge world tour but for these smaller groups that maybe don't yet have the like following or fan base to justify a big tour wouldn't it be nice to like have them open for one of their like label mates i don't know but that's just probably wishful thinking on my part now we're moving on to the pobs we've got admare Let's see. i'm just putting these away in spots because i tried to like generally speaking have an idea of how to put everything but the amount of cards is just such that they've got to be they've got to be put somewhere and then I think I'm going to try and do like a make my binders aesthetic video um, which is going to be a challenge because that is not my strong suit by any stretch of the imagination but I do want my binders to look cute like one of my best friends Alexa she is so talented when it comes to like graphic design and visuals and stuff like that so she's a big inspiration to me her binders always look really cute she has like pretty filters that she gets and um so yeah i'm really going to try to take a page from her book and make my binders look nice like putting my lily cards in these hollow sleeves was really branching out for me if that tells you anything um Okay, these are my last two Amari cards, so they are just going to go on the back here for now. So, there we go. Moving on to Antwerp. A lot of progress. Oh no, wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These girlies are going to have to be put somewhere else. She needs to go here. Uh-oh. She'll go here. She'll go here. 
I'll go here. Which one? Which one? Oh no. Uh oh. I do have this card on the way, so I'll leave that open for now. We will just put these places. Um, I do have that card. I will come back to it. Yeah, this is going to require a lot of reorganization at some point because I made the decision that I was just going to try to put them together nicely by outfits and such, but then I got more cards. Oh wait, that's why. This is Expergo. Oh no. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> I am definitely going to run out of pages. Whoopsies. Okay. So we're just going to start doubling up. <laughs> because I literally don't have any more nine pockets in my house. And if I run out, I will be in trouble for the rest of this video. So. It probably just also makes the most sense to do this anyway. So, which is sad because like, look, Antwerp has some of the best card backs, so, but it's also pretty to do this. So we'll just see. I think Lily Girl is gonna need a very, very large binder very soon. I upgraded her from like the original one inch binder that I had and um, it's clear that that this two inch one is still still not enough. So here we go, new page. <laughs> okay these are literally all still Antwerp PCs. Oh no. I'm gonna steal a couple pages from the back. Got a bad feeling about this y'all. We're just going to have to see how many cards we can shove in here. Um, also, I want to say about Lily, JYP, count your fucking days, because how dare you make my girl do a fan sign and fan call when she's on vocal rest. Like, you couldn't... <sighs> They, they could have avoided this. It was so annoying to have to see her write on a piece of paper to these people that she's having a phone call with. Clearly she needs to be on vocal rest for a reason. And like Jisung recently had to miss a fan sign in China. And they just had him like sign, excuse you, sign special photo cards for the people who won that event. Um, Ma'am. Or maybe it was for a fan call. I can't remember exactly, but she's just going to go here for now. Um, but regardless, like those people got a nice one of a kind holographic card that he signed. And like, why couldn't you just do something similar for Lily instead of having to put her through that? And I also feel bad for the fans because like, of course, that's not how you want your potentially one time to speak to your favorite idol to go when they can't literally talk to you. Okay, for Experigo, I definitely have this last card. It was in my June or July haul. So we're going to fill the open spaces and then double back and double side as needed. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. I feel like it has become so apparent this year. Like it was always the case, of course. But this year, man, it's like, y'all can't treat idols well for shit, can you? Um, but anyway, some of us are not ready to have that conversation. Okay, the lighting situation is not great, but we will try our best. We'll forge ahead. Um, it's also been interesting having a Stray Kids and Inmix come back so close together because... Uh, I obviously fully collect Jisung and try to collect as much for Lily as I can, and uh, it's a lot, you guys. I did fix claims for Jisung because it, that just makes my life 
so much easier. Um, and thankfully, stray kids have been, oh no. Oh, this is going to have to get rearranged at a later time when I can devote more brain power to how that needs to get changed. Um, but anyway, yeah, doing a fixed claim for a G-Song makes my life a lot easier. But the amount of cards for Stray Kids this comeback, cross my fingers, knock on wood, has not been too crazy. Um, look at this freaking card, how cute. Ah! As I throw it to the floor. But yes, Expergo HMV so precious. This is a card that took me quite a while to secure, but I did. All right, now we are into a Midsummer In Mix stream. Um, this page, oh, I didn't realize I need one more of this. Dang, okay, I need one more of this card to go here because this is where my two um, Polaroids are going to go. Oh, that glare is gonna bother me, so. We are absolutely going to run out of space, but that's okay. That is a... Okay, I don't know what I had planned for these pages, but a free space. I have so many of these cards, I actually ended up running out of hollow sleeves, which you'll see in my... Uh... I'm just going to start putting these on the back. You'll see as we get into FE304. Um, look at Lily Potter. I definitely ran out of hollow sleeves, so... Note to self, never wait this long to put your cards away ever again, because I think that's also why I put off doing this, because they just kept accumulating and I kept feeling so overwhelmed by the amount of cards that I had to put away that I just wasn't doing it. And then the problem just got wussa and wussa, um, which if that's not an ADHD problem, Quite frankly, don't know what it is. Um, so. Okay, girl. I should maybe... I think it's, like, funny to try to find different ways to organize PCs. Like, for Lily, I could easily do heart cheek page. Because she, that is definitely one of her, like, go-to poses. Um, I also, fun fact, got hella scammed by a very prominent um, Inmix like seller or whatever. Uh, their account name was Beanie Trade and they scammed me and many, many other people out of money and cards, so that was fun. Thankfully, compared to a lot of the other people in the group chat that I'm in, like I feel like I got away pretty easily or not easily, like obviously she had quite a bit of money for me, but not as much as everyone else. And like, these are people that hosted huge group orders through her. And so it's not just their money, but like money from their joiners that is tied up. So they're not having to deal with that as well. At least it was just my own, <laughs> my own money. So just my, I only have to be beholden to myself and I don't have like an angry group of people asking me for their money or their cards, um, neither of which I can provide. So I really feel bad for those people in this instance. Um, but I also feel bad that uh, I don't have my cards, <laughs> but it is what it is, shit happens. So, here we go. So many freaking cute cards. But also, it's just insane that they did so many cards. See, this is why I want the backs to show, because they're cute. So many cards for literally a two-song mini-album. But it's raw capitalism, to quote Lily. I mean, I do it to myself. Okay, I think I just ran out of uh, space on that clip real quick, so sorry if you missed a card, but so cute with the mic. Oh wait, is this one double-sided? No. I'm going to put this one here because it is double-sided and I love a double-sided card. 
Oh, I can put one more here. Orange. Eight. Ring. Cherry. I wish that Stray Kids did more with the props, but at the same time I'm glad that they don't because it would make my life even more difficult than it already is. They did like one set with props for this recent comeback. The Cacao Talk set has these like pink guns or whatever and people are overpricing the absolute hell out of those. So okay. and then these we can just put on the regular pages. And yeah. got I also made the boo-boo the fool decision to collect unit cards. <laughs> so, love that for me. Although I do love them, like these unit cards are really cute. Um, and then I have this previous one. So, see they are cute when they're not um, having a glare. Precious. Um, but we are finally moving into the FE304 mix version part, whatever, of this. So we've got the very, very, okay. So we are once again doing the double pages. Look at these freaking cute. So I ended up with a lot of sets because I tried for, um, fanzines last era and I was so fortunate in that I actually won two of them um which I do not take for granted so incredibly thankful for this year this comeback I should say I have tried for one this is what the front looks like um and I really don't think I'm going to try for any more I did not win which is fine it happens um but it just reminded me how much of a hassle it is to host for these and especially like Lily having to do that fan call sick just so put me off I can't explain it um <clears throat> because for one like she shouldn't have to do that and also incredibly selfishly I would be upset if I had to do a call with my alt and couldn't talk to her so anyway this is cute next we have this make star set now this is actually the fan call that i won which was super fun so i kept an ot set as well as the unit cards so this is just super cute and precious and like such a wonderful memory for me no wait i'm a liar i did not win this one <laughs> Whoops, I did not win this one. I literally won this one. She signed it. I'm so stupid. I tried hosting for this one. I hosted for like four different ones and one, two. So like 50% is not bad. Um, but now I realize what was supposed to go here. So this is the Make Star set that I won. Um, and that is what is supposed to go here. Yes. That's how that page gets completed. There we go. Super cute. Also, what the hell? <laughs> oh man. I bet there are gonna be comments from people being like, you messed up. And so very sorry. I bet a bunch of y'all were yelling at me. That's not right. But now it is, okay back over here oh god so there we go beautiful so now this pride and joy is gonna go in the middle there is perhaps some semblance of an order to these but don't quote me and don't hold your breath I believe this first page was going to be like my favorites slash Lily serving cunt. Um, so here we go. 
yeah, that feels right looking at these cards because that is, in fact, what she's doing on this page. Gorgina. Okay, this page all is wearing the same green outfit. Trying to stay on theme here. This is also where I ran out of my hollow sleeves. But I wonder, hmm, maybe, oh no. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I keep it to the hollow sleeves or should I switch over? Hmm. I don't know. Now I'm gonna have a crisis about it. Oh my god, I loved this outfit <clears throat> so much. The pink. They all looked vaguely like similar to one another. It was very much a look. And then this fit. Of course, my neighbor is cutting the grass. Very inconsiderate. Got this page, which I believe is this like all black fit. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, okay. Gorge. Okay, this Make Star set. Which gave me, like, I don't do fixed claims for Lily, which maybe I should, but I just have not found, like, a strongly preferred Inmix group order manager. Um, so... I'm just all on my own each comeback, um, which sometimes is good, but also sometimes makes my life hell. So, like this lucky card that was a Make Star China exclusive, that really gave me problems. Okay, this is the last page, so we are going to have to start doubling up. But there was just an obscene amount of cards for this comeback. Um, as there have been for like the last couple comebacks. It was like completely manageable for Admare, I think, but Expergo is when it just blew up and it's gotten worse every time since. Yes, I have duplicates of these, I don't care. So then I started going for like vaguely color themed pages. So this one is going to be like blue and purple. So. Here's how that looks. And then for these. I think this was supposed to be like a cream and red-ish. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to put them in backwards. So. Yep. These three. And then these three. So, final look for that page. Okay, these are all the cards I have left for um, FE 304 break. So, I'm going to put these away and that's going to be kind of it for today. I am running out of light and battery and my back is killing me. Um, so we're just going to get this far in. haven't even touched any of my Stray Kids binders, so this will all be a single video, but I will have to film it on separate parts. Oh no. Yeah, I really need to figure out. Maybe when I film the rest of this, I'll have figured out a sor solution to the storage issue, but... Here's the back. 
storage. So next, Ooh. I'm curious what uh, have been some of you your favorite comebacks or new groups like debuts this year. Um, I feel like there's been a lot going on in K-pop this year. Um, and a lot of like drama surrounding it. All this like the Cat Side documentary that just came out, the La Seraphim documentary, which I still I just don't understand Hybe, like their goals with putting out these kind of documentaries because I feel like they're ultimately not doing the, those groups any kind of favors when they release them, but oh well. Got some of the Chinese store cards here. I am missing the Namel offline lucky draws. Those are two of the cards that I got scammed out of that I'm the most upset about. Um, so if anyone has those for sale for a reasonable price, please let your girl know because I just like literally cannot find them anywhere, um, which I know will be difficult because they were an offline lucky draw, but uh, it just sucks. These are from the pop-up. I think I'm actually going to run out of room to put these. Oh no. So here we go. Yeah. I can put some behind these. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Fine. We'll make it work. Sorry to the group card. This is the rest of the pop up stuff. These polas. And these super cutie units. I don't know, I'm kind of torn because I think I like the look of the full pages. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts. Hmm, this might actually work out for the best. I'm still just going to need more pages and a better way to organize it because I do really like the backs of these cards with the hearts, so we'll see. We'll see, but that is everything for this Lily binder, and she is so full. Oh god, I don't think I can even put stick out in here, so that's going to be a problem. Okay, it is now a couple days later. We are finally going to uh, finish the rest of this extremely long, extremely bladed storing photo cards video. I am now in my uh, Stray Kids album binder. I ended up having to split this up, so this is going to be everything from mixtape to maxident, and I'm a little unsure if that's actually going to fit. It's going to be a very tight squeeze if it does. Um, so yeah, let's get back into this. So I actually don't have any mixtape cards today, but for I Am Not, we've got Changbin, <clears throat> sorry, and we've got Sungmin, so for the kids cards, I just have been this is probably like the lowest priority for me just because I, I don't know I, these cards are just whatever um then finally finishing this I am you page I'm who page rather so here we go then nothing else for I am you for this video. I did move all of Hyunjin's cards over, um, but next storing I should have some more. 
I'm You Era Pride and Joy page right here. And once again, just moved Hyunjin over, but we'll have more actual cards for next time. We are finishing the Miro Limiteds, finally. So all of my Limiteds will be complete as of this video, because I've got Hyunjin. This was like such a wild thing of my collection to actually see it be completed at this point, but yay! Ugh, amazing. Um, also, lol, these are the custom fillers that I had done by Mars K-Pop. These are my Lily ones, um, but I desperately needed fillers for this binder, so they got um, hijacked to be used here. Hello. Okay, moving on to Miro, none for this purple set. I have this Chongbin. High key, low key cursed Chongbin card because it just does not look like him. I don't know. It's weird to me, but anyway. And then we've got Red Border Felix. I pulled this and I just, I love his hair in this card and everything. So go black border we have some men and finally like standing back card I don't know the technical term for this one we also have some men for this all right now moving into Levanter I have one yellow border card not Levanter yellow wood oh my gosh got some men then I believe this is, nope, not that version. Uh-oh. Is this one? Yes. Okay. So I have Sungmin for this set. Cute. No black border cards. I have Chan, iconic blonde Chan for this set. And... For the concept, I have Changbin and Sungmin. Okay, also, big progress here. Like I said, we're finishing out all the limiteds today. So I have Felix's Levanter Lenticular and Sungmin's. Yay! I'm just so happy with having all these limited done. It was a lot of work, a lot of heartache, but it's it's done. All right, making a lot of progress in Levanter. This is almost completely done at this point. So we've got this Felix. The purple hair was such a moment for him. Silver border is done. Uh, for this version, I just have Felix today, but I know I for sure have Chongbin, so this will get completed soon. Blue border, of course. Felix. And finishing this page. It's so nice to see an OTA page finished with this gorge Chani card. There we go. So that's it for Levanter era. Uh, Go Live Limited was already done. Finishing the hoodie set, the double-sided set. Today, we've got Chani. It kills me that this side is not completely cohesive, but I just love the hoodie version more than the white button-down version on the other side, so this is what we're working with. Okay, so this Felix goes with this set. And then this set, no, oh, just kidding, I don't have any cards for this one. Wait, 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 where's the other? Did I not? I, wait, that's not right. Oh, here we go, okay. Uh, for this other blackboard set, we have this Felix and this Sungmin. And I actually do have this Sungmin card, they were just not in order, whoopsies. 
that's it for go live now we're going to move to in life uh, which we are finally finally finishing so we just needed the someone concept card and here he is so no easy is all done so we're gonna go ahead to Christmas evil so first we have the green back set, which I call like the naughty version, I guess. I don't, I don't know. That's just what I call it. But anyway, so we've got Chen, Changbin, Felix, and Sungmin, Gorge. And then the red version, got Chenny, Changbin. Already had Felix and Sungmin. Cute. And for the glitter cards, I'm missing the same four culprits. Once I had completed Bias Line plus Hyunjin, it was just like, okay, I need Chan Chungmin, Felix Sungmin for everything. <laughs> but there we go. Okay, awesome. Christmas Evil all done. And then the rest of this is Ordinary has been done for a while but I do have some unit cards see I have two I am not units and two I am you units so until I have them all um, complete I'm just not going to excuse you I'm just not going to bother like trying to put them in order until then so I am you okay I've got these two There we go. Okay. So I'm also thinking that once all of the units are done, I will put them with their albums. But for now, that was everything for this Stray Kids binder part one. <laughs> okay, so everything in this binder, binder is going to be Maxident onwards. So starting off with my like most cherished page. So this is my OT8 signed PCs from Maxident. So I'm just gonna go for, we've got five star. And now we have to put away everything from Rockstar era because that is how behind I am. <laughs> and once again, everything from like June, July, August hauls will not be in here. So um, eight will be in the next binder update, but we're just going to go ahead and put these album PCs away. Oops, I did not put fillers. Oops, I'll just have to go back for fillers. Um, like I believe I've already mentioned, I kind of want to do a making my binder look cute video. <laughs> so we'll see how that comes to fruition. The cards from this era were honestly so good. Oh wait, wrong page. Okay, we've got these pre-order polas, which of course everyone probably has 50 million of these now. Um, but into the binder they go. I really enjoyed the photo cards for this era. Um, I mean, to be honest, the photo cards have been giving. Okay, next are the unit PCs, and so I just decided to, like, put two sets to fill up a page rather than awkwardly have, um, I don't know, just four cards. So, I'll do it this way. Like this. And then, hmm. 
I guess we'll just have it. I guess we'll just do like mirroring in reverse situation here. There we go. Mm, good enough. <laughs> then we've got the headliner version. Um, I'm also, okay, I have a question. If anyone who is watching this has ever had any experience buying tickets for concerts in Japan, let me know. Um, we are going to be in Japan while Stray Kids is doing their um, Dominate tour, and we're really trying to figure out a way to get tickets. Um, of course, like the biggest hurdle is that we don't have Japanese cell numbers, which seems to be like the the biggest hurdle basically that you need for this. Even if we got this is the what version is Nemo. Even like though we're planning to get eSIMs when we arrive, that's obviously not a lot of time because we're getting to Japan the day before the first concert date there. Um, so I just don't know. And of course it's always so sketchy trying to buy from someone on resale. So I guess we'll just have to see how that plays out. But no matter what, I think even if we don't manage to get tickets, um, we're gonna try to do merch and stuff like that. Um, so. We'll just see how it goes. Plus I think it'll just be fun to kind of like be in the general area. But yeah, like I said, if anyone has had any experience with that, this is the um, compact version, whatever they were called this time around. Um, let me know. It would just be so cool to see Stray Kids in a different country. Um, especially because the Japan concerts, like Japan always gets special versions of everything, so it would be cool to experience that and to like actually get to do a stay zone and everything. Um, but we'll see. So that's the, I think these were the pre-order. And these were the actual like technical album PCs for the compact versions. So there we go. Finally, putting away everything for Rockstar. Um, and like I said, 8 will be in the next storing video, which will not be a year from now. It will be <laughs> sooner than that. Um, I've already, just from like the last couple hauls, have such a pile of cards to put away that I'm like, I can't do this again. So, all right, that is album binder part two. Okay, now we're moving into uh, a new, or not really a new, but this is basically my like OT8 extra binder. So it's going to have membership and season's greetings and stuff. Just realizing that I never actually hauled this year's uh, fan kit and season's greetings. So that'll have to be for next time. Um, but I am completing some sets and putting in new pobs. So... Let me see, this cheese, no easy set. I have this done today. So basically all of these, oh my God, hello, sets will be done. Got Chenny and Sungman. And for this set, this iconic green set, oh my gosh, we're just missing. You know, love it, gorgeous. Um, then we've got this set from The View. Got Chani. That bright red hair. We'll probably never experience anything like that again from Chan, but it was iconic. Felix. Oh no, these are those sleeves that don't fit well, whoopsies. And then Sungman, which for some reason had a hell of a time finding that card, but there we go. I don't know if I like this Tianjin filler. Mm, I'll revisit that at a later date. This set is done, and this subcase set is now done. It's got beautiful little sparkle cheek Sungman. Okay, so that's no accident. I think we're just, it's hilarious to me that we were missing accident cards. 
Oh, okay. But have these two. I think what it was that I just I got G songs and then decided oh I should go back and get you know and Jungin. Okay, so now we're moving into five star. This is probably one of my favorite OT8 pop sets of all time. This KM Station Heart Hollow. I mean, just look at this. Like, in ooh, well, let me see so you can actually see them. Just incredible, beautiful. This was I think Barnes and Noble, Target. Got another set here. So this is the Everline set that's in the same outfits as KM Station. Um, but sadly not hollow, but I just loved this set because I love how they look all together. It's very like rainbow vibes and I just had to have it. Also, these are some of my favorite outfits. That's not the right order for all of them, so. Ugh, gorgeous. And then this I think was JYP or Soundwave, whatever, but the only set we have of them outside. <laughs> uh, finishing up the Soundwave Lucky Draws. So we've got the hoodie version. Oh no. I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> and Jungin. Like, I'm obviously, hello. Had this cute colorful set. Got everyone for this. The blue hair was so iconic. Okay, then the last card that I was missing for this set was Chongin. So this is complete as well. The OT8 sets I did for the Soundwave. Um, then I basically just did buy a sign for the other version. So the second version of the hoodie card was this like denim jacket set. We've got you know, Jisung and Jongin. Then the like red jacket or the red outfit set. Jisung, Jongin. And then for this, oh my god, whoops, set with the flower, I was just missing Jongin. There we go. Oops. All right, now we're moving into the rest of Five Star. I'm definitely going to be consolidating these. I think I'm not keeping Minnow and Jongin for these. Or maybe these. I'm not 1000% sure. Oh, where is that card? Okay, so we've got this Jongin. Uh, I'm just going to see, is the same? I don't know. I'm really going to, like, I'm only keeping these, but. For now, hmm. I think what I might also do is double sleeve some of these, mayhaps. Because I still have uh, more cards that go in here. <laughs> Whoops. Or actually what I'll just do, you know what, let's be real with ourselves here. Only keeping these G songs. And then maybe a few choice others. So put these here. There's some of the Chinese stores. It felt like there were so many 
um, cards for this era. It was wild. Thankfully, it slowed down a bit more for Rockstar, and then I definitely feel like 8 has had such a more manageable number of pobs and fan signs so far. Like, I think we're honestly done at this point. There haven't been any new ones announced in a couple weeks at this point. Um, so would be thrilled if that was the case. Actually have a manageable number of pobs. So, there we go. These, okay, I've got this cam station set. And then these, just gonna be real with myself. <laughs> it's because so many cards this era literally just look identical and it was one thing when I was just collecting, like now that I'm just collecting for one member, but three members getting identical cards, it was just too much. So let's see if I can get this card in the sleeve, hello. Okay, this is another one of those sets that I was talking about, so I'm just going to keep Jisung. This set, oh, the teeth. Um, I believe this was from Dance Like Crazy video. This is another cam station set. Little Sailor Boys. Okay. This was from the Top Line music video, Iconic, my fave. This next set, oops, I can get Jongin from this one in. Um, so this is going to be slightly a problem, <laughs> because for this set I got Chan instead of Jongin because it's Curly Chan. I had to, but he should go in this order which is not right. <laughs> so I think um, I'm just gonna have to put him in Jongin's spot. Um, so whoopsies. And then, oh, that actually, so then we've got this last set. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm about to have a problem because I only have this many sleeves for these and these uh oh so we're just gonna have to double sleeve I suppose got oh wait these are OT8 sets oh no ah okay wait hmm okay you know what making game time decisions as we're doing this and then if I change my mind on anything We'll just go back after the fact. Also, that's not even on the right page. See, it's filming these videos for some reason, man, gets me so out of sorts and frazzled when it's literally just putting pieces of paper in pieces of plastic. So now we're finally moving on to Rockstar era. These are the Target Pods. Eat the Rich Minnow. Love that. And then, and then. Oops. this filler that I joined group orders for. Cute. Okay, next is this Tower Records Japan uh, set with the ribbons. So for this, I got, I don't know if it's going to show up, the hollow for Minho and Jongin. Um, and then I ended up purchasing the holographic Jisung, so that's what I'm going to put in here. Gotcha. So yeah, it's a little hard to tell 
but he's sparkling. The sets like this, I just can't help myself. They're so freaking cute. And then the sparkly jungin. Okay, then I have this set that I forgot I was receiving in a group order that Courtney did uh, way back when for this comeback. They all look really cute, so I was more than happy to have them. Although I'm not so happy about trying to get these things in. <laughs> so there's that set done. And then the last set for Rockstar is this lollipop set. I'm missing Minnow for this um, because it's in like, I think my most recent haul video, but then the set will be complete. But like I said, it's just so unusual for Stray Kids to do like prop cards. Um, so I just, wanted this one basically don't have to justify it but <laughs> there you go okay next this is a bit random but these are the uh photo cards that came in their maniac um which is this yeah, maniac japan blu-ray i do have the maniac uh soul card set somewhere still in the dvd uh so i need to actually get those out and put them in but that's for another day Cute. All right, now we're moving into Japan stuff. I know this is not the best layout, but it's what I've got for now. So these are some lucky draws with the corresponding group card. This was for the sound and this is for social path and for their next comeback, I'll add those here. Then for social path, I have the double sided, really cute clover cards. So I mean, the fact that the cards were normal sized <laughs> for this comeback and not the really tall cards that they normally do, I just went a little wild. Plus all of the concepts for these cards were so cute. Um, so here's the front and then the backs. Then for this set, the little heart headband, come on. So I put them in these little sleeves with heart hollow. I just thought it was so cute. I need to get more creative with like using different styles of sleeves and stuff like that. Cause I think this just looks so cute all together, especially with the heart hollow. Not that I think it's showing up at all on camera, but yay. Then the last set, this is the fan club drink double-sided cards. So. Cute. Oh, someone was so cute this era, that fluffy hair. And then here you can see the backs. Then I have the um, full set of the unit cards. I'm just putting these. I don't believe I have them in any particular order. Um, but I wanted oh, the green ones together. Yeah, we're just gonna double them up also. I'll show you the other side. This video in its entirety is clearly about utilizing space or lack thereof. So here's the front and then the back. And then I've got the remaining cards from the sound that I was missing. Not the sound scars, oh my gosh. Which, I love this Minchan card, I want a hundred of them. Speaking of, so sad that we've gotten so many more unit cards recently, none of them Minjan. Um, and then I'm just gonna put, these are the remaining circus cards. I'm gonna put them in their proper order after this, but for the sake of time, 
just gonna get them in the binder. Okay, so that is everything for this binder, which is now extremely full. Um, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do for eight because that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> and all of the Rockstar cards, oh God. Okay, now I'm going to take a little intermission into this Hyunjin Sungmin binder. Um, originally, this housed all of Hyunjin's album cards, but now it has extras, basically, of any member that's not Jisung or Bias Line or whatever. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this cutie Sungmin from uh, their dome tour. He was just so fluffy. I had to have it. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of cards I can't help myself. Uh, mainly Kenjin and Sungmin because those are my boys. This was a lucky draw. I can put these here. Cute. And then these make star, I believe. Always with the iconic hollow cards. So that is, <laughs> that's it. like I said, brief intermission for these, but yep, cute. All right, now we're moving on to my Jisung uh, A5 binder. So I had to actually end up splitting this, which you'll see in a second. So we're not gonna have two Jisung binders. I don't wanna talk about it. Um, so I have this Maxident, um, this Maxident broadcast card will be for next haul. Um, what I ended up doing is putting his Rockstar one here. I have two Rockstar era broadcast cards. So this is the actual like comeback era. And then this was an end of year broadcast. So we'll just put that here. Um, and then here I have Mino's uh, signed uh, postcards and then Hyunjin and Jungin. Um, I still have this Felix five star, but at this point I really don't have place for it. So I'm probably going to end up selling it. Um, keep your eyes peeled on my trading sale Instagram account if you'd be interested in that. But we're just gonna go ahead and go through. I did quite a bit of configuration in this binder. Um, extremely, extremely exciting. I got this pop. Oh my gosh, the sub K-pop. Yep, yay. So, here we go. Decided to double side, like double side them just to save some space. No easy. Okay, right here. Going to add this card. I'm just putting them on the back to save space. This, no easy. Then this is going to be a page for uh, Minnow's No Easy Pobs. I must have more coming <laughs> because I only have one for this page right now. Uh, this is Christmas Evil. So I put this Minnow here and finally, God, I believe this is Interpark Jisung. So he is done for Christmas Evil. Here we go. Then we get into Ordinary, which is all done. I'm going to do a Minnow Ordinary page as well. I probably should put his cards in the Hyunjin Sungwin binder, but there are sets that I collect of like a set of him and Jisung, so I don't know. I keep him in here for now. That's just where he's going to be. Um, and then have this last, um, this was I think if you bought like multiple albums you could get this lucky draw for Soundwave. It has been such a minute since 5 Star. But now this page is done, cuties. So I'm going to put these like Polaroid style cards here. Then these on the back. I 
and then this random card is just gonna go here. Uh, then these are the cards that I just pulled out of my larger binder. Just put them here to have that done. So now we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So these are more five star cards. This is from the pop-up, obsessed with this card. Was thankfully able to get it before it got crazy expensive. Um, then now we're heading into Rockstar. I'm just gonna mix the eras. I'm not that concerned about it. This is the JYP Nemo benefit. Oh wait, this is back to five star. Oh no, you know what, it's fine. I'm honestly not that concerned about it. So this is Tower Records and HMV for five star. Now fully in, I should just change them, shouldn't I? God damn it. <laughs> oh well. There you go, the official end of five star, beginning of rock star. So. Then this is just a, gonna be a cute little Jisung Japan page. Got the um, hollow version of this HMV card, the glasses, and then the regular version of. Um, the bow set that I just put away. And this one, this is technically like a don't, I don't remember what this is. I think you got it at, at a concert, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's hard, impossible to keep it all straight at this point. And so then these, I have the minnow equivalents for somewhere, so we'll leave those um, to fill in. And here this set. Now what I'm going to do is I have this minnow card. I will put the Jisung one here because that's in the huge batch of uh, cards I got from my group order managers. Same for these sets. And these sets. And then finally, these sets. I will have so many more cards to put away. It's a bit ridiculous, but that'll be for next video. Excuse the tale. Okay, now the second thing that's going to be in this binder. So moving forward, this binder is mainly going to be Pobs and then also Japan. Uh, so I'm going to put his Japan album cards up first. These awkwardly long ones. So we've got All In era to start. I finally decided to just bite the bullet and collect these. Um, they are really cute cards, so what can I say? Then next is Scars, my favorite. flower crown and this one I will just put on the back of this <laughs> so here we go for a circus I'm just gonna put these two well this here for now as a placeholder for the rest of his cards um, and then I'll put this Jungin here on the back then we've got these cards from The Sound. I'm not going to double side these because they, like, double sleeve them, I mean, because the cards are double sided. Which I'll see in just a second. Very cute. I do have just a couple missing for those that I'll put in next time around. And then I also did a set of Jisung's cards for, um, oh wait. Did I do this wrong? Yes, oh well. I will switch out these pages later. But social path, and I just had to get this minnow card. I got 
Mm-hmm. This one. And then this is one of the double sided. Stray Kids is football players, the biggest lol. Um, and then these two extra ones I'm just gonna put on the backs here. This is a sticker, and this is just a pob. So. Now we're moving on to the like venue lucky draw cards. So I consolidated all of these down. Last time I had those like four per mem uh, four members per event. Um, that was just not sustainable anymore. So I just have two members per set now. So this is the little Christmas pop up that they did. Now we're getting into the five star dome tour like social path era with these. Sorry if the glare is a little rough. Yeah. Yet more five star dome PCs. Um, I have put these in order to the best of my memory. So if any of this is mixed up, then whoops. I had to get Jongin's for this day because it was just too good not to. Um, I did also get his version of this day because it was just so striking, but I may have to end up putting in my extras binder, but there are so many of these. That's why I figured it would be best to just keep this binder to Pobs and Japan because that's just what I have the most of right now. And to be honest, Japan may have to get sw swapped out with something else later on um, because I know there's going to be even more for the concert dates in October. So we'll just have to see. And for this last day, I just had to get Chan just called to me. So, there we go. And that's it for the event lucky draws. Oops, a little awkward. And then here I'm going to start with the Japan MD Polas. So this is gonna be left for high stay, which I have on their way, or I've actually hauled recently. We're going to go ahead and put the rest of these in. Scars, the queen. Maniac. Maniac, I know. Also, as I'm putting these in, I realize that this order is going to have to be entirely rearranged because this is not the right order, but oh well. It's fine for now. All right, now we're moving into Jisung Binder round two. So this is going to house, first of all, the tour and fan meet cards. So we've got these to start off. Ooh, perfect fit. These are so cute, his orange hair. cards here and then I'm just going to like do a crossover page with this set we'll do the group here and the fifth card here sorry for any background noise but cats will do what they want to do this is such a cute little photo shoot Oops. Now we'll have these three on the page. I'll have to find something to put here. And then this page will be go live in life unlock stuff. It's this PC. The ARPC, 
And then the linty, which I is reminding me I need to sell my duplicate of. Okay. It's always so awkward when these sets have five cards or just some completely random number. So what I'll have to do is put this here for now. There we go. I'm just trying to go roughly um, in chronological order. So then we have Skizex fan meets. Um, if, like I said, if any of this is incorrect, let me know. So we'll put these polas here. Then I will have the Skazoo outfit ones here. There will be an extra of each. And those will go here. Then we have got um, Chocolate Shop, Chocolate Factory. So this may not be the exact right order, but uh, it's what I'm working with here. So these. And I believe I'm missing maybe one more of the Polaroids. Those up all here. This is just going to represent the fact that there are a shit ton of maniac polas, and those will go here. <laughs> um, then we've got the actual merge PCs. So there's three for each. I'm just missing the last G song. So what I'll do is put them in pairs here. What I'll do is like up close, mid, and then full body, like that. There we go. Okay. Next we have the pilot fan meeting. So just start putting all of that stuff here. leave this blank for something. Then these were pre-order benefits and I decided to get Jisung set plus two others that I thought were just cute. So I got Minnow for the chin grab as well as Sungmin because it was just too cute. Then here I've got the Stay Zone PCs from Pilot. And I'm going to make a little crossover page with these with the Stay Zone PCs from Five Star Soul Special. Cute. Then I've got this pre order benefit. Um, these. This may go with the Japan MD now that I'm thinking about it. No, that can't be right because it's the Soul Special. Hmm. Anyway, and then here is the ID. There we go. And then finally, I have the cards that came with the like Skizu PC holders. So we'll put these here. Join in. And I have a sneaking suspicion that I do have something else coming for this. And if so, I'll just put it here. Look at how cute. All right, now we're getting into a fat stack for Magic Shop fan meet. So these are the Stay Zone PCs. Day one, two, and three. And then I will just put his ID card there. Then we've got the Polas. Got Jisung and Minnow for this one. And then the last one. Then this page, this is different merch cards and such. I am missing two, I believe. One from the Busan pop-up and one from like the chair 
So I'm going to leave one of these for the chair card. Then these are some merch PCs. This adorable unit from the bracelet card. So actually, now that I say that, the Busan card is like a, a selfie, regular selfie. So I'm going to put the ID here and that card there. And then finally, this page is going to be for the Toy World Japan fan meeting. So I got his two merch lucky draws and I have some more merch PCs coming in a J Addy haul. So there we go. Okay, the next section we're going to work in is photo books and season's greetings. Actually going to kick things off with a second stay membership cards for Sung and Amino because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So here they go. I'm also going to put the Stay in London PCs here. And then eventually I want to get like the Zero Gen or whatever, or First Gen fan club, and I'll put those on this page as well. So for photo books, we're going to start off with Stay in Playground. So we've got these colorful ones first. I'm still holding out hope on the sub K one, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave this empty for now until I can't bear it anymore. Then I'm gonna put these cuties up here. Love these cards. Move these up a little bit. Then we'll just start putting in these are the regular pobs that came in the actual photo books, and then these three on this page, but. I am only missing one more card to be complete with these. I actually have one that I must have recently hauled, so there's one missing plus another, which I guess now that I think about it, I should just put there. Oh well. Next I have these three PCs from the Stay in Jeju. Um, these were just pobs and such. I didn't... I should probably put the actual photo book PCs in here, but I didn't, so whoops. Now we're going to move into Season's Greetings. So for 2021 Season's Greetings, for this video, I just have these four cards. But I do have the rest of them for next time. So I'll just leave the back of this page blank. Then we're going to move into 2022 Season's Greetings. So I have these PCs that came with the set. And then these pobs, I actually think I'm missing one, maybe two. So let's put this one here. And the placeholder, this 23 Seasons Greetings here. Then these are some extra pobs from 2024 Seasons Greetings. I just joined a group order for these. So I'll put those there. And then these were from Japan 24 Seasons Greetings. Although they've just announced the Japan 25 Seasons Greetings. It, I'm not gonna lie, it looks, I'm tempted. I'm, I'm tempted. You know, this is bad because this binder is already like full, but I just have the last few cards to put in here. So, okay. These are going to be from the Victory. Let's see how many I can put in here. And I do, oh my god, I'm going to have the rest of those polas. Oh boy. Um, I think I'm going to need a bigger, like a, the larger A5 size. This is just like the very standard small one. So I think this is simply not going to last for Jisung. Um, but then we've got Mahagrid, so I did get Minnows to complete these sets. Because I do really enjoy the Mahagrid cards. And there aren't many of them, so... Oh well. Round three. We've got round three. And round four. 
Okay, and then here we have the Cleo cards. <laughs> oh, so I have both Jisung and Reno for this one. And just, wait, I'll put this one here because this one is double sided. And then finally, I'm just going to put the random ass Pacific cards that I have in here. <laughs> so these four are double sided. Put these here. That's cute. And these two I'll just put behind the Cleo cards. So there we go. Okay, this binder is actually, oh, I forgot these were back here. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, this binder is already entirely too full. Um, so this needs to be rectified immediately. I don't even know if I can close it. No, <laughs> great, oh my God, what a mess. Okay, well, uh, that is it. The end of this extremely long overdue and probably extremely long photo card storing and organizing video. If you made it to the end, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Uh, if you liked this video and if you think I should do binder updates more regularly, please give this a like and subscribe and I'll see you much sooner with my next video. Bye.